What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some Classroom of the Elite Season 1, Episodes 10 and 11 today. First one is called People, often deceived by an elusive good, desire their own ruin. Very excited to find out what happens with Ryuen and his search for Ayano Koji, his desires, everything like that, and with the paper shuffle and the aftermath. Very excited. Hopefully you guys are as well. If you are, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts in those comments down below. Make sure to check out that Patreon for the full uncut early access up to a week of the other shows. Not this one, sadly, but the full uncut versions are over there. Make sure you guys subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Let's hop right on into this classroom of the elite season two i think i said season one earlier episodes 10 and 11 let's do it abashira said we always have a couple of pairs who are expelled so it's quite crazy is that uh sakayanagi oh and ichinose yeah, that's always a little suspicious, right? When people are too perfect, too nice. 100%, I get that. And then you got people like Kushida, who are a perfect example. Yeah. We have to worry about Ryuen before we can uh, deal with that. Christmas is coming up. I love me some Christmas. Actually, I don't think we do. How brazen. Shouts out Sakura. Now, who could that have been? I'm loving the Christmas decorations. Is this one of Ryuen's men following K for some Ryuen reason? I don't like it. He did say he was going to try to, you know, I don't like any of this. So he had K do some counter recognizance, but the girl wasn't from class C. Class A. Is it? I don't think it would be Katsuragi. I think it would be Sakayanagi doing some scouting. Class A scout. That's interesting. <laughs> that was a little rude, Iyana Koji. That's what I would assume. She's quite the observant gal she is. <laughs> like, you didn't beat any of them again, did you? Good. As it cuts to Horikita, because she's the one who made him keep that promise. Hell yeah. That's the craziest part. <laughs> you, you mean? Hardy har har har. <laughs> That's just so crazy to me. He doesn't even know what's Yano Koji. Absolutely. As long as it remains a part of the ne necessary plans, he'll do it. Farewell, my lovely. They could, I think there's something deeper than that. Like, he's going to go to the library and someone's going to be there or something. I don't know. Lord Peter series, okay. I always appreciate a good recommendation. Not at all. She's in class C. Interesting. She seems like she's genuinely just here for studious reasons. She seems now this is more like the Ichinose for me, where I'm like, she's way too nice. I don't trust anything. I don't know. At least not with this show. If it was another show, maybe. What a strange coincidence. Maybe I need to read those two books, though. Mm. We get to meet Papa Koji, and it's just going to be a convo between them. 
I haven't seen the doctor scene in a minute when he had flashbacks about like his childhood, you know, is it's not this is, is his dad the doctor that was taking care of him? I don't even know if that was the doctor, you know, but I like his dad's voice actor so far. I need to rewatch one of those scenes. It's been a year and a half since I'm assuming they've talked since he's seen him. What happened to Matsuo? So... I thought when he said he dismissed him, thought he had him killed, but no. But I mean, he still technically could be implying this, that in particular, but with the help of Matsuo the butler, he Matsuo, who told Ayano Koji about this school, helped Ayano Koji escape his father. His father then fired Matsuo, and then Matsuo, a month prior to currently right now, died in a fire he set himself, leaving his son out in the cold. That's kind of fucked up. I mean, everyone's tool to Ayano Koji. He doesn't feel bad about anything. So, when his dad called Chabashira and told her to expel him, is this why? That you gave us the ultimate education? I need to know the more details. I need to know the... I'm not, I don't want to pause it again. I need to know the details. I'm sure we're going to get this eventually, eventually, but it might not be for like four seasons from now. I need to know why he feels the outside worldly society is not needed. What this path he has laid out for them what that entails where they lead to if it's not in societal contributing contribute contribution you know what i'm trying to say and he gave them the ultimate education i mean technically the school's not necessarily needed in terms of at least ayano koji's smarts he could ace pass everything with flying colors if he wanted to so very curious and tell me why his dad sounds like his voice is like kiritsugu or kirei from fate he really does notice of withdrawal the white room yep uh -oh. number one uh, experiment number one talent number one candidate <laughs> And I feel like he's still going to refuse. Sakayanagi is in like Sakayanagi's dad? As his secretary? My father here is chairman? So Sakayanagi's dad is chairman of the school and was... And as a previous secretary, uh, oh my, that is quite some information. Unless the student is like emancipated, isn't it? Technically, you have to follow the parents' obligations. Damn. I thought I was going to be Sakayanagi on team Papa Koji, but no, they're. Sakayanagi's on team Baby Koji. Okay, not what I was expecting. And meanwhile, Yana Koji has not said a thing. He always has this expression, like, expressionless look on his face. I also feel like I recognize his voice actor, too. Who's your daughter? Arisu is her first name. Mm-hmm. This is interesting. This is an interesting twist. God damn, one day I'll have all the answers. One day. And so she's going to manipulate them in every which way for her own personal benefit to get the class A as well. Yano Koji is such an interesting main character. His motivations, his desires are still unknown. What are you going to do now? Like, as an audience, we don't even know when he's our main character. Couldn't tell you what he's thinking. Couldn't tell you his backstory, motivations, interests, love. I was just thinking about you. Yeah, right. Even Kay, you know? <laughs> 
even cases that. So she done a lot. Oh, my niece, that's an apology, really. And with his lit ass can or Christmas tree right here, I love the look. He's only motivated from Chabashira threatening to expel him. He's just gonna be a background observer, which is so weird. You know, he like Kay is saying, he's so athletic, so smart, but he just doesn't want to. He just has no motivation. This will be the last time we talk. It was purely for the plan. She genuinely really likes Ihano Koji, which is cool. No hesitation. That's the thing. Even though the way he talks, you know, was transactional from the beginning, it's purely business. He's like this with literally everyone. Even Horikita, who I thought was going to be his girl, he does not give a about but maybe that'll be his character arc maybe one day maybe one day he'll care maybe one day maybe one day we'll get a smile or an expression on his face you know damn that's crazy though that was in whoa that was the episode damn that was only talking and that felt like it was five seconds long all right on to episode 11 Oh, you know it's getting crazy if Ryu ends making a personal visit to Class D. Mm-hmm. As Koenji leaves. What do you think? Those three can go handle Koenji? Do you think... What? What's going on there? Koenji's one of the very, very rare people in the show that I'm not worried about at all. He's athletically and mentally one of the best in this entire school, and he doesn't care at all. Okay, okay, Yukimura, the squad going to help. Is it I to whom you refer as weirdo? <laughs> Pure poppycock, I assure you. Oh, of course, Saki and Nagi comes as well. Class D, Class C, and Class A. Sakayanagi. And that's the girl to her left that was spying on uh, Ayano Koji. And the guy to the right is the one who was helping her on the island and all that. This is the first time I've seen you in like a bit, you know. So, let's do it. Get down to brass tacks. He is correct. I can... I can attest to that. 100%. He's literally withdrawn and almost cost us every single test. So... That's true. He only did that one because it would get him more free time earlier, you know? Yes. Yes. <laughs> he said me alone. <laughs> the shots of just the close up on the eyes. I love it. Most definitely is a member of the congregation. What well, Koenji probably actually knows it's Yano Koji as well. I think he does know, but he wouldn't dream of stealing his fun. Like it's a it's a fucking Sherlock Holmes, you know? 
それとお前が次にその呼び方をしたら殺すぞ<笑>気に入りませんでしたかドラゴンボーイ<笑>Yeah. I don't know. I, don't get me wrong. I know how he hasn't figured out it's a Yano Koji now, but how does he not know it's a Yano Koji? He's a super buff, super smart weirdo who never helps with any tests. That's what I would say. Especially after just trying to see you drop kick in Sakayanagi. I'm definitely looking forward to the finale. We have what one, two more episodes? Is it 12 or 13? Actually, do you guys know? Can you answer me that in the comments if you truly know? Is it one more or two more? But theoretically, it should be better off for Yano Koji now that he's more fading into the shadows, you know? He's done with his, his involvement. Akin to first love, that's crazy. To mastermind to Ishizaki Daichi. So, I wonder、uh, who Daichi is. Masterminds, obviously, is to a Yano Koji. Crush the bait. And the mastermind. Notice of construction. So they're going to have walls that have definite blocked views of security cameras. Yeah. Damn. If he says that, then you know K is coming. And you know if K is coming and she、uh, contacts the Anokoji, he promised he would help. So he's coming as well. So theoretically, it should work, you know? She really could save herself and tell him right now. But I don't think she will. It's not in her best interest to snitch on Ayano Koji. Mm-hmm. I'll have a lot of、uh, respect for K if she doesn't snitch. Because going against Ryuen is pretty intimidating, especially what he's known to do to his other students of his own class. He actually is. Damn. That actually is, you know, she knows the leverage. What are they about to go through her phone? Oh, getting her freezing cold with the being wet in the freezing? Yeah, that's horrible. I get where he's coming from. I'm not sure physical torture is part of trial and error testing out the boundaries, but I, I guess. She's being waterboarded? What is this fucking Guantanamo Bay? That's literally like against so how many laws? The study squad. It's actually kind of a cool name, the study squad. So, was Ayano Koji not gonna save K? Is she just gonna be tortured all night? 
At this point, go ahead and snitch, girl. I don't blame you. You're about to get frostbite or some shit, you know? I gotta give her... I gotta give her kudos. That's some backbone you've got. You got resolve. He's letting her go. I mean, at least cutting off the bandages. Yeah, Ibuki is not about all this torture shit. I swear this episode just started. I swear on everything I love this episode just started. It's already over? How can I have episodes primarily about talking? The aftermath of, a, of an episode or the, of a test of, of something, you know? And they're both some of the quickest episodes. I've had episodes full of fights where they go longer than these. Like, I'm so genuinely confused. But overall, I gotta... I mean, I've had respect for Kay. I mean, I, I, I've had a level of respect for Kay over these episodes, especially with what she dealt with with Manabe. But I have a new level of respect for her for not snitching. Especially because I'm like, go ahead, girl, tell him. You know, even though Yano Koji's my boy, you know, like, <laughs> waterboarding? You guys can confirm that's what that was, right? Maybe I'm just misinterpreting the situation maybe it was purely for cold but first gotta get her freezing cold as, as uncomfortable as possible while her fucking tied behind her back then you get water like what the fuck? that's crazy ryuen is a piece of shit shouts out to how koenji dealt with him dragon boy shouts out saki and nagi saki and nagi's dad ayano koji's dad that's gonna be very interesting. If you guys could tell me where Saki and Nagi's dad and Ayana Koji's dad, where do I recognize their voice actors from? I might look it up. But uh, overall, very, very pleased with these episodes. Very excited for how this is gonna end this season. And then it was like, cause I watched season one literally right before season two came out, like a week before season two came out. So was it like a long time between seasons one and two? Because the hype around season two and like people excited that Classroom Elite is finally getting another season was crazy. So are we going to have to wait a long time for season three? Do you guys know? Because that's no bueno. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Don't forget to check out that Patreon for the full uncut, unedited versions, full length, all that jazz. You can also get early access and full length to the other shows I'm watching. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day. Dapper Squad, I promise, is water. Peace out.